Hello, everyone. Welcome to the launch of our new, small, and super powerful EEG. Here we are today in the online edition. And I have to say that as much as I'm excited to be here on this stage and present our new device to you, I'm also a bit sad it's been almost a year since we had the chance to meet in person. But in line with our corporate philosophy, we are adapting to the terms and conditions of the real life. And like all geeks, we believe that the answers to new challenges must lie in innovative, state-of-the-art technology. So, welcome to our first virtual launch event of Smarting Pro. I would like to start this story by casting our minds back. And don't worry, not back to 2020. But back to 2013, the year when we launched our first mobile EEG device, Smarting. Back then, we had a goal to move EEG experiments out of restricted laboratory environments, to prove that high-quality mobile EEG is possible, and to shake the industry out of the belief that stationary is the only way to do EEG research. And we did it with success. Smarting brought revolution by expanding the coverage of research fields. It was a working proof that reliable and mobile EEG is possible. Smarting moved the entire industry. Many other similar systems appeared later on the market, after we proved that mobile EEG can actually work. Finally, there was a simple and reliable tool for all those scientists who wanted to be pioneers of mobile EEG research, who wanted to use cutting-edge technology and move the boundaries of neuroscience. And those are exactly the people we had in mind when starting this company. Pioneers, brave ones, visionaries. All of you who saw the benefits of bringing EEG technology closer to real life. All of you who are ready to embrace innovation, novelty, and have the patience to allow evolution to happen. All those challenging status quo who saw the amazing opportunity ahead. And because it's been a while since we last met and discussed, I would like to briefly touch upon and remind us all why we think that bringing the benefits of EEG technology to real life is that important. We know that there is so much untapped potential of a healthy human brain, but we don't know exactly how to use it. The brain can behave vastly differently depending on the conditions. The only way to start unlocking its full potential is to understand its function exactly under these. For us, harsh, but for nature, the only relevant circumstances. And this is a tough one. It means that we need to find ways not only to move the EEG out of the lab, but also to enable complex experimental paradigms, such as social studies and hyperscanning. And that is our job, to empower and support talented scientists, to create proper tools and build a supportive EEG community, to always disrupt the backwaters by introducing new technological standards. Before we tell you how we did it this time, I want to say thank you. Thank you for buying Smarting and believing in us. That's why we are still here today, and that's what allowed us to grow and further develop these great devices. Also, thanks for the honest feedback. This made it much easier for us to understand your struggles and where we need to improve. I know that these words could easily be seen as a token or a part of a script. I have to admit, you're completely right. This is a part of the script. But in all seriousness, your feedback is valuable, and we really do take it into account. Though it sometimes may not seem sufficiently fast, but we are doing our best to support you. Here are just some of the snapshots of your feedback that we collect every year through service, direct communication, and support sessions. Please do keep on sending your notes to us, formal, informal, comments, suggestions, and of course, compliments. But think twice before clicking the spam to our service next time. As you can see, the simplicity and data quality of Smarting are highly rated from your feedback. But from talking to you, we also realize there is still room for improvement on wireless connection stability and integration of more devices. With the new device, we wanted to keep this convenience and versatility that Smarting had brought. But we also made a firm decision to finally address questions and challenges which made a gaping gap between mobile devices on one side and stationary devices on the other. If I ask you a simple question today, what is the standard in EEG? I believe you would not have the answer straight away. You would ask me, well, what is the criteria? Are we talking about connectivity or versatility of experiment design? 
for what type of study, for what number of people, indoor or outdoor. So the only correct answer is there is no standard. There are great stationary, reliable, and at the same time bulky EEG options that people turn to when the connection quality is the key. And there are light, simple, and mobile options, systems like SmartThink, that people turn to when they're looking for ease of use and mobility. When we compare stationary systems, we do so by using a number of parameters. So let's call these specifications numbers and specs. They are numbers, and we can compare numbers, but they don't widen the research or application scope. With mobile systems, we somehow grew used to questions about occasional loss of data and synchronization issues. But this was somehow an expected compromise when you wanted ease of use, mobility, and applicability in more scenarios. Metrics we used here were a bit more complex to compare, but crucial to us who believe that there is much more to EEG research than what we get in restricted setups. So with mobile systems, we use parameters like versatility and ease of use. As you can see, there is the gap. Different metrics for different categories of systems. But should they be different? It's all EEG in the end, right? We have decided to bridge this gap and to build a device which will once and for all rule out the questions of whether connection quality and strict standards can go hand in hand with the mobility and the ease of use. We implemented technology upgrades which put the equal sign between our new mobile EG system and the stationary systems. With Smarting Pro, we have brought ease of use to a new level. And with great connection stability and reliability, together with ultra-low latency, we made a device that is ready to cope even with the harshest environments, such as outdoor and hyperscanning studies. Let's now try to put all the systems into one perspective. For the Axis One, we combine the ease of use, data quality, and connectivity in a single value, experience. The other axis is mobility, where we compare everything from Hansberger's lab, systems you carry in a backpack, to small amplifiers you can hardly notice. This is their space. And here goes Smarting Pro. There is no reason to use different metrics anymore. Systems can be mobile and reliable, easy to use and precise, versatile and professional. With the implementation of cutting-edge technologies, Smarting Pro sets up a whole new category of standard EEG devices. We are proud to present Smarting Pro, the new standard in EEG. And here it is, a truly remarkable, technically innovative EEG device, Smarting Pro. And I wouldn't be standing here today if I did not honestly believe these words. Just to quickly mention that the signal quality is simply exquisite as with all the previous MBT devices, and I don't believe we should waste any more words on that. It's just something that I believe should simply be the default for all the EEG systems. So without further ado, let's go straight to the innovative solutions we introduced. In Smarting Pro, we implemented native support for Bluetooth 5.0. We had been looking for ways to further improve the mobility of Smarting and the reliability of data transfer while maintaining low latency and precise synchronization. And Bluetooth 5.0 is the solution that offered us everything we had been looking for. First of all, high reliability of connection. With Bluetooth 5.0, Smarting Pro now has lower interference with other devices due to the new transmission protocols and improved connection stability. Next, it has great wireless synchronization. Our clients already know that the wirelessly synchronized jitter and delay with MBT devices are really small, 
but we have now further improved it and taken it to another level. This is achieved by bringing the transmission latency down by the factor of five. And finally, higher data transfer rate. We achieved the data throughput of over one megabit per second, which means that we can easily stream 32 channels of raw EEG data sampled at 1000 Hz. Next to Bluetooth 5, we also have SD card for out-of-range, ultra-high frequency recordings. We went further to increase the sampling frequency even over this 1 kHz for some specific use cases. Smarting Pro can sample at 2 kHz and record the data to SD card. However, while recording the data to SD, the signal preview is available on both Android and PC as long as the amplifier is in range. The SD card also contributes to further increasing reliability when recording a high number of channels at high sampling frequencies under the challenging conditions for wireless recordings. And so why do we believe these two features together make for the new standard in EEG? Well, simply because by introducing Bluetooth 5.0, we increase the connection reliability and stability and significantly reduce the latency of the connection to further improve synchronization. This increased mobility in combination with reliability of SD card backup yields a perfect tool for recording EEG in the harsh conditions even mentioned, outdoor and hyperscanning. Although these two together are very powerful, we did not stop here, so let's move on to the next, and I'm free to say, unique feature of Smarting Pro. Smarting Pro also features a precise 3D head motion tracking. We integrated a 9D inertial motion unit for measuring gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer data with high precision. It's not only these three, but the way they are combined that allows us to precisely track head motion in all the three directions. So you can look wherever you want, these beautiful side screens, for example, and the head model will follow. This is important in the experiments that require simultaneous recordings of brain and body dynamics, including head movement, for participants interacting with the environment, for example, in music studies. To use this feature, just check the 3D head motion tracking box in our software, and all this information is also available for post-processing and artifact reduction. And for the number of channels, we've added a few. We've added additional eight differential channels for EXG recordings, EOG, ECG, and EMG, in order to preserve 24 channels free to just record EEG. However, these eight channels are configurable so that you can also use full utility 32 channels for EEG, for example, to improve source localization compared to Smarting Mobi. Now, to reach the full capacity of all this hardware, one also needs a modern and intuitive UX UI app design. We have taken into account all your feedback over the last years and carefully designed the PC and Android applications. Okay, so let me say a few words on software. We understand that our clients need to reduce the possibility of making an error during recording, leading to lost data and irreparable data sets. On the other hand, they want to reduce the experiment setup time as much as possible to make it all one or two clicks away, and all these while keeping this experience intuitive. To start with, we integrated NFC into Smarting Pro for just tap and go. For those who have multiple smarting devices in their lab and who sometimes waste a lot of time on choosing the right amplifier from the list of available devices, with NFC technology, you can now just tap Smarting Pro with the phone and the app is automatically started, connected to that particular amplifier, and you're already in the impedance setup mode. We've added the configurations feature for quick setup. Once you're there in the impedance setup mode, you don't want to set up your experiments each time from scratch. So we introduced configurations. When you configure your experiment for the first time, just save your configurations in a file on your PC or phone, and for each subsequent subject or session, load your own configurations from the file. Don't forget, you can make use of the phone sensors. The app also allows experimenters to integrate the phone sensor data to the recording in order to record their body movement we've talked about before. The phone sensors you can use are accelerometers, gyroscopes, GPS, and front and back camera. We have also implemented real-time motion artifact cleaning. For those who do the recording outside, increased movement may also cause motion and muscle-related artifacts. To deal with them, and to facilitate signal post-processing, we integrated the automatic real-time data cleaning to our software. When the algorithm is active, the software allows for recording of raw data together with the process data, so that the researchers can choose whether they want to use the process data or they still prefer to use the raw data and do the data processing themselves. 
last but not least, all DR updates and upgrades. All DR updates allow the app to automatically update with the new features we release. We have also introduced the over-the-air upgrades, which means that we can now upgrade the hardware remotely as well. So why did we do this? The hardware that is integrated in the device is quite advanced, and we will be upgrading it for all the new features and possibilities. This means that the device you get today is not the same device you will have two or three years from now. Some hardware features that are in it are just not yet supported by today's Windows and Android platforms and will reach their full capacity only a few years from now. But also, we will be upgrading the device based on your feedback and experience to introduce new possibilities that you need for your research. I would like to finish this walkthrough with a few nice-to-haves. Smarting Pro is designed in low-power technology, and this allows for over 10 hours of data streaming and SD card recording. The device is extremely easy to connect with the cap. You just slide it in the connector box at the back of the cap until it clicks, and voila, you're ready to go. With this said, I'll leave the stage to Ivan. Thank you, Bogdan. As Bogdan has just shown you, we have implemented the latest technologies in order to address the challenges of the mobile EEG. And we upgraded all the features which make for great user experience. With Smarting Pro, we established a whole new category of devices which eliminates the gap and puts the equal sign between stationary and mobile devices, for which we believe should constitute a new standard in EEG for all the future devices and developments. Smarting Pro brings uncompromised mobility, supported with Bluetooth 5.0, SD card, NFC technology, 9D motion sensor, and intuitive app design. These together make Pro a perfect choice for your indoor, outdoor, and hyperscanning setups. Smarting Pro will be available for orders starting from April 19th, and we're looking forward to preparing your first shipments as of May 17th. I have to say that I'm very proud of the progress we have made and our teams who worked so hard for all this to happen. I also look forward to all interesting upcoming projects and exciting findings ahead. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Stay safe and have a great day.